I think it was an opportunity lost. Uh, th this was an opportunity uh, for us to uh, show the world, uh, set an example for the world. Uh, I think had we treated the detainees with greater dignity and respect, uh, we would have elicited more information earlier from them. I think had we uh, tried detainees in a fair and just process, uh, had we released detainees after giving us information rather than keeping them, it would have opened up a greater collection of intelligence. Uh, in the U.S., how did, we, how did we finally break organized crime? We got people on the inside, we made deals with them, they gave us information, we took care of them, they didn't go to jail, they were released. So, so if, someone, if someone actually wants to go home, what, what, a, what better example is there than having someone who's been cooperative uh, be sent back home? Uh, had we let the court system work out the kinks in the military uh, commission process early on, uh, we'd probably have a, a pretty good process today. Uh, a decade later, we're still struggling uh, down there with, 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 with the process that was created. Uh, so in hindsight, uh, uh, the other piece, uh, there was no effort uh, to, to de-radicalize or disengage or rehabilitate detainees there. And, and so the, the fear had always been uh, if you took someone who was not guilty and you placed them with some, because there are some pretty bad people down there, you placed them together with some pretty bad people and you did not treat them very well and you took them away from their families, uh, might you not have created the very adversary that you feared in the beginning, even though they might not have been that, that dangerous when they got there. So, so I think it was really an opportunity lost. This is the difficult part, you know, for, for folks who have been working Al-Qaeda for years. Uh, at the time of 9-11, uh, the range, the estimate range of the number of people who you would consider Al Qaeda, probably ranged between two and four hundred. Uh, how many thousands now do we consider among the ranks of Al Qaeda? So, so you know their numbers have grown, in spite of all of our efforts. Now they're franchised.